Welcome to your market update charts of the day. It's the 2nd of May 2024 on what is proving to be a very interesting Thursday in financial markets. It's Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Overnight, of course, we had the FOMC interest rate decision, which came in as expected to be paused. But more importantly, it was what happened in the subsequent press conference that markets had eyes on for any insights the Fed chairman would give into what's going to happen later in the year, both in terms of the frequency and the timing of any rate cuts or even rate increases. The Fed chair suggested that rate cuts at this stage were likely to be prolonged in terms of when they might happen. Some are suggesting that maybe September might be the first rate cut. Uh, but certainly he seemed to dismiss the concept of a rate rise, even though that's what some economists have talked about. Very, very choppy session around that press conference, which sent the markets straight up and then straight down again. An interesting day ahead and with more big earnings and big data to come, expect plenty of alterations in market sentiment in the next couple of days. US futures are higher in Asian trading today. We're around about 0.8% on the NASDAQ futures. Uh, Asian equity markets mixed, but generally positive in early trading. ASX is around about a half a percent to the upside. European futures are point to a cautious open, of course. Many Asian and European markets were closed yesterday for Labor Day. So there's a bit of catch up as well, which distorts things a little. Uh, but generally speaking, there's a brighter vibe going on in terms of sentiment than there was yesterday. We see this also in the US dollar index, which falls significantly to test the bottom of a short term range. Gold having tested 2300, in fact, closed beneath that key technical level the day before, rallied back over 2300 and is sitting around 2320 at this stage. Copper also dropped the previous day, but that's recovered a little after that pullback from two year highs. Looks as though the buyers are in in Asia. Be interesting to see what happens when the LME opens this afternoon. Oil dropped significantly through support to mid March lows with the 200 EMA under threat. This is not bad news for inflation, but if we do breach that 200 EMA, we could see further drops on the breach of that significant technical level. Bitcoin, we referenced yesterday, is looking a bit bearish. It breached support. It's dropped to February levels overnight. And we've seen a little buying in Asia so far today, which could be profit taking. And really, it's what happens this afternoon and into the US session, which will determine whether we see further drops, possibly to low 50s. Now it's kicking around the 56,000 level. Earnings remaining focus. Got some big oil companies reporting today, along with Apple after the bell. Australian trade balance is a bit soft. This afternoon, we've got Swiss CPI, German and Eurozone manufacturing PMI, and then tonight, US weekly jobs and factory orders. So plenty more for markets to digest. And of course, we've got that non-farm payrolls tomorrow, which takes on more significance because a soft number may encourage the Fed to cut rates early. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Keep an eye on zero on the ASX, uh, ticket codes XRO. And you can see there we've had a bounce off the 200 MA after this retracement from around about this 132 level. So we're seeing this as a potential upside opportunity. Should we breach 124? Uh, that would be a very healthy return of around about five and three quarters of a cent in the short term. We like this stock long term. We think it could do well and maybe even uh, make its way up towards this 135 level in time. The euro yen looks interesting. We had some strong yen action towards the back end of the trading day yesterday, which pushed the euro yen and other yen crosses down significantly. But we've had a really nice bounce in Asia. And we are at an interesting point here, around about this 167.40. We see a really high probability trade potentially to take us up to 168, being a nice round number. So that would be around about a 60 pip increase. You can see previously we've had straight up and straight down movements when it's been within this range. So this is what makes this very interesting, worthwhile being patient to see what happens. It may be that European data this afternoon, if it comes in relatively strongly, maybe enough to push it back up to make this a more solid opportunity. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.